Microsoft has been pushing and implementing passwordless authentication for years. But you'd think that Apple had invented passkeys, judging by some of the headlines that have appeared over the last few days. According to the tech press, it doesn't exist until Apple invents it. But you can already use Microsoft's implementation of passwordless today on Windows, iOS and Android. This week in IT, I'm going to give you the lowdown on what's going on with this story and how you can use passwordless authentication today. Russell here, editorial director of Petri.com in this life and IT consultant in a previous one. Apple announced that it would be supporting FIDO2 passwordless authentication, which is an open security standard supported by Microsoft, Apple and Google, amongst others, at its WWDC conference earlier this year, and that the technology would be called Passkeys. But Microsoft, Google and Apple have been behind the FIDO2 initiative right from the very beginning, so it's not an exclusive Apple technology like some of the headlines would have you believe. So this all started a few days ago when Ricky Mondello, who's a software engineer manager at Apple, started a thread on Twitter really just to raise awareness of pass keys in upcoming Apple software releases. But Alex Simmons, who's corporate vice president of Microsoft's identity division, chimed in to remind people about Microsoft's passwordless solution. So Apple has been pushing pass keys with the Apple San Francisco fonts and their own logo and of course calling it Apple pass keys kind of making it look like it's an Apple technology but Microsoft has supported passwordless authentication for work and school accounts since March 2021 first in preview and then in general availability and it's also supported passwordless for Microsoft accounts so that's MSA accounts since September 2021 and Alex Alex Simmons confirmed that Microsoft will also be adopting the passkeys name. So the way the press portrays this makes it look like there's no solution from, you know, Microsoft or anybody else. But let me know what you think of the way the tech press covers Apple's announcements in the comments below. Is it designed to make Apple look like the one and only, or do you think it's fair the way the tech press covers this stuff? So Microsoft's passwordless solution can be used wherever you can install their Authenticator app. And that, of course, includes iOS and Android. And Microsoft's passwordless authentication works with Windows Hello and Windows Hello for Business. So this allows you to add face recognition and fingerprints to unlock your passkey. And Windows Hello, of course, is built into Windows 10 and Windows 11. So Microsoft has no doubt been leading the way on passwordless authentication. And while Apple and Google are both working on their own implementations of the FIDO2 standard, they're both behind in the game. Game. And Microsoft will be bringing full support for its services to Apple's implementation of passkeys to iOS, iPadOS and macOS Ventura, of course, later in the year. So what can you do right now? So if you're using Microsoft services, a work or school account, maybe with Office 365 or a personal account with Outlook.com, you can turn on passwordless authentication in the security settings. And Microsoft will walk you through the process of setting all that up using the Authenticator app on your phone. Passwordless logon is supported in Windows, of course, Microsoft Edge, and in Microsoft apps for Android and iOS. You can also investigate how Windows Hello or Windows Hello for Business if you're an organization works. That's something that you can turn on if you've got compatible hardware on your device, a fingerprint reader or a webcam that has an infrared sensor. Or if you don't have any of those things, then you can use a PIN code as a gesture to sign in, which should be unique to the device. And of course, if you're an Apple user, while you can use Microsoft's Authenticator app today, you should look at upgrading to iOS 16 and macOS Ventura when they're released in the fall. So despite all the fuss in the last couple of weeks about this, it's a great thing that Apple is finally getting their implementation of password list together and bringing it to Apple users later this year. And of course, it's great for security as a whole. The more platforms and services that support some kind of password list, the closer we get to eliminating passwords completely. And while I don't like the way that the tech press always portrays Apple as the innovators of everything, of course, it does have considerable sway, especially in the consumer market. So if that's bringing password list security to a greater number of people, then that can only be a good thing. And having this implementation of passwordless built into the OS itself 
of course, has to be better than needing to install an application to be able to use it. And Apple's implementation of Fido 2 looks quite interesting, to be honest. For instance, when you're creating the initial key pair, Apple uses Bluetooth to check proximity of the authenticator device. And I don't think that Microsoft does that, but if I'm wrong about that, you can let me know, of course, in the comments below. Anyhow, I'll put a link in the video description below to Apple's full presentation from WWDC on its implementation of passkeys. It's worth watching just to see how the presenter starts to choke up at the beginning when he introduces passkeys. And in this video, I'm excited to talk about passkeys. <laughs> Sorry, Garrett, I'm sure you're a lovely guy. So let me know in the comments below if, of course, you're already using passwordless authentication or if you're planning to do so sometime in the future. If you found this video useful, then please give it a like. I'd really appreciate it because that helps to get the video seen by more people on YouTube. And if you'd like to see more of this kind of news from Petri.com, then please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But before I go, I'm going to leave two videos on the screen now, which you might also find useful. But that's it from me today and I'll see you next time.